Five minutes after seven o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago. Quick look at uh, the traffic situation in Deby down south, where there isn't much of a traffic situation already. Some people pulling aside for the doubles and the Sahina uh, by by the area that that sells doubles and Sahina and Alupais and and all of that. As uh, we get going uh, into the start of the second hour of morning edition on uh, this Monday. Uh, as we did last Monday, we are joined now by Dr. Visham Bimal, who is the founder and CEO of Caribbean Hindustani for part two of our four-part Trinidad Bhojpuri. And I always break from the homework, but I have the homework already here in front of me. So let me try and minimize the damage as much as possible by saying hello and kaisan hal. Hal baot, tohar hal kaisan. Acha. Oh, that's great. That's the first in a long time. I don't think even Trinidad Butch has ever spoken on, on television, was it? I don't know. Mm. And so <laughs> for those who missed what was going on last Monday, yeah. what did we just say so to each other? So you basically just asked me, because we covered these expressions last week, how are you? And I said, I'm fine. And I said, how are you? And you said, I'm fine. Right. So when we were doing the, the Patwa series last year, I asked for what do you say when... What really going on here? And that was Saki, Sa, Saki, Saki Kawive. Saki Kawive. Saki Kawive. Saki Kawive. Yeah. Now, we were just talking about our athletics and our runners and so on. How would in Bhojpuri, like how we would say, ah boy, they win, that kind of thing. What would be the Bhojpuri equivalent of an expression of delight and joy in a similar situation? You just use acha. So, I mean, you just say, ah, itna acha ba. Itna acha ba. Itna acha ba. Yeah. <laughs> Itana Achaba. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we'll we'll, we'll plan run the race and I'll hit them at Itana Achaba. Uh, in, in, in that. So let us move along with, with our lesson sure, this sure, morning. Sure. Um, I, I'm not sure what you want to do if you don't do the expressions first, but um, I, I, just going on the narrative of what we were talking about last week. A lot of people ask me, uh, Dr. Bimal, is Bhojpuri written, right? Um, I just want to say that uh, most of the indentured laborers who would have come. Uh, they were actually illiterate even in Hindustani. Uh, they didn't know how to read or write it. Uh, looking at the history from my family background, I learned to read and write Hindi in the Devanagari script. That is the normal script that everybody accustomed to. Could we show it while we talk? Sure. Would that be possible? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so let's, let, let's, let's try and, 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 and set it up here. Uh, so I'm just making sure I'm putting it on the right side. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. correct. That's that that my, my doctor scribbling in okay. Devnagri yeah. for the song we have to do later. Right. Because I, last week I couldn't remember the exact words. Right. But, um, so that script, now even modern day Bhojpuri in India would see it written in that. But back to Peggy Mohan and her research because mm. her father was, they were from the Sonar, Sonar caste. Now remember, caste does not necessarily mean lineage, yes, but lineage is a profession. So Sonar means jeweler. Right? Um, he was also a bookkeeper, so he used to write in Bhojpuri, but in a Kaiti script. Mm. And that actually was what Bhojpuri was written in during indentorship. It looks similar to like what Gujarati is written in. Okay. So Bhojpuri even had its own uh, script, which is not even the script Hindi is written in. So this script that we're looking at on the screens right now would be? That's modern day uh, Devnagari script, which Hindi is written in. And the reason I wrote in that is because I, when I became literate in Hindustani, it was in that script. Okay. Yeah. So, so, when, so people who are familiar with Hindi, would they understand this? Yes, they would understand this. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's good that we get, because sometimes you know, we, we, we fail to recognize that there are a world of languages out there that don't use the A, B, C, D and so on that, that, that we know. And there are many different ways of writing and communicating. So it's, it's good that we're getting that, that It's interesting in Detroit well. too, because remember the script when we teach is in your Romanized script. Right. So it, it's, it's always good to, to, to show that. Yeah, we give the, 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 the transliteration yes. to, 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 so yeah, that yeah. people can understand for the pronunciation purposes yeah. and so on. So l let's move along with some more phrases. Sure. Okay, we, let, let's see if we're going to put them up on the screen. Are we going to have, have them available now to, to put them up? As soon as we, 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 we get them up, we'll... We'll have them up. Let's, let's see if we get those phrases up for you right now. Uh, the, the phrases that, that we're going to put up. Let's, let's see if we... Well, why would we... Yeah, we, we could probably... Yeah, let's, let's, let's go through some of the phrases in the meantime. All right, okay. So, oh, let's up. Okay, right. All right. So, these are common expressions, and I guess for the real deal, we'll move for tomorrow because we'll use it next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aaj ka karatba means uh, what are you doing today, All right? Uh, the Hindi speak well know Aaj aap kya karte hai. Right. Right? Again, look, just like Portuguese and, and Spanish here, right? 
Um, I did some verbs mm -hmm. as well because it's important to know verbs. Um, some people might know it because these verbs are existent in our Trinidad English Creole. So, kam kare, right? Um, so, I guess you could probably learn the conjugation here because aj ka karatba. Karatba is for all persons, plural or singular. So, you just say karatba. So, you change it and say aj ham kam karatba. Today okay. I'm working, right? Um, kapra dhoe means to wash clothes. Uh, uh, bhojan pakawe. I think that Chinese would know what bhojan is because we tend to use it, I guess, in everyday speech. At least from my interaction. Right. Um, Remember, you spend a lot of your time that side of the lighthouse, eh? this side of the lighthouse. I'm just like, pointing that out. <laughs> 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 you may have a different perspective on it. Go ahead. Actually, I want to make a point about bhojan. Sure. Bhojan is the formal way to say food, so that whenever you would say. Uh, Usually you would use it in the context of uh, a prayer meeting, especially in, in the Hindu context. Mm. Uh, mind you, it could also be used in the Islamic context, because if you look at the food in festivals, the same food actually in a, a, a person of Indian in your origin, Islamic setting versus Hindu. So, right? just uh, if, I can, if you don't mind me asking, sure. the, the bhojan part, because we talk about bhojpuri. Uh -huh. So, does that boj have any like so what Roots? does boj puri actually mean because because in the same well, okay don't feel i mean the disrespect in the same way i would say dal no, puri that's fine boj puri what the, what the, the right so the thing is that uh pur it's it's different roots right uh boj actually boj itself is a sanskrit root that means food or enjoyment right that's a separate etymology okay but uh boj puri actually puri means uh, it comes from pur meaning uh, town, area, kingdom, like uh, Avadhapur, where Ram was from. Uh, so it means kingdom. Uh, and Puri means of that kingdom. Okay, so it's a different origin altogether. Raja Bhoj was yeah. the king. So Bhoj Puri would be r reminiscent of that from, particular from the, from kingdom. From that area. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's continue. So, sure. So, Shaher, uh, Shaher Jai, um, Sahar Jai, sorry. So that the Trinidad Bhoj Puri word for Port of Spain is Sahar, my nani used to say that when I was a child. So, so if you're going into like, so as I say, down, from that down, side down. of the lighthouse, yeah. and you're going into Port of Spain, you're going to Sahar, and you say, "Aaj, aaj ham Sahar jatba." I'm going to, I'm going to town today, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then, a lot of times, especially if you're learning languages, any in the Hindustani variety, a lot of English words actually would be employed. Actually, in French, could you say? Uh, uh, you say uh, faire shopping in French. Mm. So it comes uh, shopping curry. Shopping curry. Right. right. So you could say aj um, hum shopping karatba. Today I'm, I'm shopping. So in this, the, the curry, that, that is like something that the, the act of doing doing it? So curry actually means to do. It's karna in standard Hindi. It's very easy. Oh yes, if you want to become conversational in Hindustani and you don't know the word, you just add the English and curry. So okay. you could say um, um, seeing curry. Um, going curry, um, hosting morning edition curry. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay. And actually, now you one one thing from Peggy Mohan's thesis is that um, you uh, dick so you add am to the end of the verb. So see am curry, full am curry, and you could actually that's true. Not Bhojpuri. That doesn't exist in any other form of Bhojpuri in the world. Okay. So uh, right. that's a nice little rule there to become more conversant quickly. So you can use that. So you can start using am curry, curry, curry. And curry. you add am curry and you mm -hmm. add in front of the am you add the English verb. So right? like so like the, 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 this afternoon in the parliament we mama guy in curry. Yeah. Can, can, yeah, can, yeah, that's actually <laughs> very correct. Yeah, <laughs> mama guy in curry. Okay. The okay. Final one. And uh, cricket, football, kele, right? Mm. Now you realize the change in verbs. So we went down to kele. Yes. Kele actually means to play. Right. So uh, when you say cricket khele or football khele, it means to play cricket or football. You could say um, murk khele. Okay, so you're playing the fool too, so you could actually add that. Mm. Um, but again, you realize how I added in the last two, I added English expressions with the verb. So you could actually do that in, in Hindustani and uh, be very uh, understood in those who speak maybe Hindi and of a Bhojpuri orientation or both you will be Bihar and start speaking this language. And, be because, and before we, we conclude this segment, just as far, because remember you showed us the, the Bhojpuri script a little while ago. Right. And we were looking at it with the transliteration with so-called English letters. Would it be easier for people to, to, to pronounce it if instead of the E you had A-Y? Yeah, and the reason why I wrote it like that, and this is a discussion that is ongoing because if Trinidad Bhojpuri is to become like the move to teach Patwa, because Patwa has a standard orthography. Right. Trinidad Bhojpuri does not. 
So as a matter of fact, like even in Bollywood films, you see the E and it means A, and sometimes they'll spell A-Y, there's no standard. So that's something Caribbean Hindustani wants to establish. All right, well, that, that's good. So let, let's move now into the second part of our lesson today. We're going to present to you a video uh, with uh, Mahadaya Kaulisa. Uh, let's go to that. Uh, oh, we uh, have some more phrases. We could oh, do next to, no, oh, we have some more phrases. <laughs> uh, sorry, my mistake. Quickly, quickly. My mistake. My, I, 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 do did, I did say I, I don't want to get. I don't want to get before teacher. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. No, man, I'm yeah. a nice teacher. Right. right. Um, questions and introduction, right? Right. Tohar Nam Kaba. What is your name? Uh, Hamar Nam. And you see what your name is. So uh, I would say Hama, Hamar Nam Fazir Mohammed. Yeah, that's okay. fine, that's correct. Right. Uh, uh, Tum Rehela, again the capital N. And remember, we have no standard orography. I represent that to be nasal, so it's Kaha. Okay. Kaha, right. right. Tum okay. Kaha Rehela, where do you live? You answer the question now. I, I live, in, okay, so Ham Sawa Rahila. Right, Ham Sawa Rahila. Right. Ham yes, Sawa right. Rahila. Right, Good. Well, so, yeah. How do you say other side of the lighthouse in Bhojpuri? Um, so you could say um, uh, lighthouse ke dusar par. Light, lighthouse ke du sarpa. Okay. So, uh, so all all your lighthouse ke du sarpa. Right? So, yeah. Again, you hang on it eventually. So, let, so that, that's the part of the phrases we, we completed uh, for now. I think now. so. If it's anything, we'll just continue next week. Right. In okay. Time, so, we'll let's, let's go to the video because time is going by very quickly from sure. uh, Mahadaya Kaulisa and uh, then we'll come back with our discussion. <laughs> मार्ग जाना हमारे गरकंडा भी गरकंड गरकंडा भी इसमें हमारे आज के आज मुरुक से आए हुए गरकंडा आज आजी मुरुक से और आज आजी के के नाम का कारण आज के नाम जाने बा आज के नाम ना जाने ना जाने आज के नाम बा दिनिया दिनिया आज के नाम ना जाने ना कुछ लिया और ना हमारा आज बोला ना ना जाने तो मुलुक से तुहार आजा कौन झीला से आम आए ना बोल रहा हूँ कि कहाँ से सब आए तुहार ना ना आम ये झील ये झील के बारे में कुछ बढ़ती आवत रहा ना ना के ना जाने बहु मगर अगर ही ना जाने कुछ um nana ke khali naam jani mai bola nana ke naam ba humna dikri ba chhota rahi nana mar gaye to to ha nana nani muluk to ha nana nana bi muluk se nana gaya na suriram suriram se to to ha nana nani suriram ke to ha nana nani ke sanghe बहुत समय रहत रहे तू आजिया हाजी आजा के हिया कांदा में आज छोटा से पोसा हम के हाँ जानिए आजी के आजा के बा और तुहार नाना नानी कहाँ पे कहाँ पे रह ले कहाँ पे रह सुई नाम से सुई नाम से तो कभी ट्रेडार देश में नहीं आम आए तब वहाँ से तब सबारी है ट्रेडार में चंबानाद में जगह की नर्सर नाम नाम Invaluable perspectives uh, from uh, Mahadeya Kaulesa telling us that her family would have come from, from Suriname. And before we go to our, to our proverb, uh, uh, Dr. Bimal, uh, you have the, these citizens in Trinidad and Tobago who've lived many, many years. And, uh, like, like in the case of Ms. Kaulesa, would she be conversant only in Bhojpuri or would she con comfortably conversant in English as well? She, she, she can speak English. Um, this would be her first language. Most people. Uh, in her situation are bilingual. This would be their first language with my nanny. They mm -hmm. would grow up speaking that and then they would uh, uh, learn English afterwards. So this is just an example of what Caribbean Hindustani does. We do interviews with people who are still uh, alive and speak the language for the sake of recording so that we have the data of the grammar and the vocabulary to teach it. So if people we could transmit the language. I also, and it will be very interesting because I did one in the Netherlands as well as in Suriname. 
So the other videos would also show that because it's Caribbean Hindustani. And that's one language, just like Antillian Creole is Patwa. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. And, and because within every region, there'd be slight variations. But it's mutually intelligible. And just to push the point here, so please visit Caribbean Hindustani. Right. Caribbean so, 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 so where can people find it's Caribbean, so it's Caribbean Hindustani. Hindustani? Yes, Caribbean Hindustani. And the logo is there on the video. It's yes. on a, a Facebook page. The website should be coming out shortly. But it will go into teaching a language just like uh, we do here. And it's uh, certainly invaluable in helping us in our understanding of, uh, of so many of these roots to, to, to our varied cultures in Trinidad and Tobago. So let's go to the problem. We still have a song to come as well, and, and, oh yeah, and, and okay. time is, is going by. So let's, let, let's go to the pro proverb. So tell me if I have the, the pronunciation correct. Khojbe uh, tena paibe. Almost, yeah, almost. It's, it's almost. Um, but you say kha, but kha doesn't exist okay, in... Uh, oh, okay, right. so khojbe. Khojbe, yeah. Khojbe tana paibe. Paibe, yeah, khojbe tana paibe. You will, you will look, but you would not be able to find. So you will, of, but you will not find. Yeah. Explain yeah. that one to me. All right, so, I mean, it's like uh, you could chase me, but you can't catch me kind of thing. I guess you could probably use it in politics, too. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and you realize that language itself, both parts of Hindustani have come up in politics. Mm. Um, so it's, it's on that uh, issue of teasing somebody. Um, Peggy Mohan, I had asked her, well, what context she had heard this being used. In one of her famous interviews about Sarangike Kisa, she saw them tell a story. They were making fun of the old man who was in their presence, and he said, she was looking for a wife, but he can't find one. Mm. So they did say, ah, the kuj, oh, oh, that kuj beta na paibe. Okay. So, so kuj beta na paibe. So yeah. you will, but you will not find. Yeah. Let, let's see, if we, do we have time for a, a bit of the song? Yes. Uh, let, let, let's go uh, very, very quickly uh, to that song, which I'll uh, we'll again. <laughs> yeah, you catch him, but, but that's a collaboration, wasn't it? Because that involved Marshall Montana. And, and, and well. I chose that vision for mm. the sake of crossover and, mm. and attracting uh, the, the, the non-East Indian audience as well. Um, we could learn a lot from these songs, and which I always use and translate, right? So it goes, uh, more tor, more tor. So it's like saying in Hindi, uh, mera tumhara, mine and yours. Uh, it bears reference to two events that takes place in the Hindu wedding. Um, Marshall refers to one, which is the, uh, at the wedding, there's some, where they have lawa. Lawa is popped rice, mm. so basically pop it like popcorn, and it comes from the boy and girl sides, and they offer it to the fire, right? He talks about my lawa, your lawa, mixing, exactly that, because the, the boy side bring their lawa, and the girl have theirs, and they mix it, and they offer it to the fire. But, 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 but uh, Ricky Jai speaks of a different thing, which is the morning before the wedding, when they say, they go in for lawa. Right? And it describes that process. So it, it, it goes on to say, Lawa milan ke parosin ghar gaile. Ghar, everybody knows this house. Parosin is the neighbors. Um, parosi is masculine. Parosin is feminine. So um, on meeting up the Lawa, because we're going for Lawa, we go to the neighbor's house. Parosin ghar gaile. Gaile is past tense. We went to the, uh, uh, the neighbor's house. Sab aurati and sindur lagai. And this actually describes what takes place there because the woman actually applies sindur. So sindur lagai means apply sindur and sab auratian means all the women, right? The next verse goes, uh, Ao chalo pua lawa milan ke. Come on, uh, pua is your maternal aunt. Come on, pua, let's go and meet the lawa. Dek deo, 
dana dahe. Look who has given dan, which is what part of it. And the last verse goes, Baja Bajaike Anganawa Metali. It talks about the Tasa plane in the courtyard or gallery. The last one is typically Trinidadian. Sabo Sakia na Milenach. Again, look all them girls started bust down whining. In a local vernacular. Uh, right. <laughs> and we saw Dr. Bimbal. Like, he wasn't really bust down whining as yet. <laughs> but like he, he was about to bust loose. Uh, but but uh, time was brought out on us. But it's sure. again very, very informative. Uh, it brings in a, lo a lot of different perspectives. And indeed, it gives me a lot of homework uh, for, for, the, for the next session uh, that comes up next Monday. Uh, God willing. Part 3 of our fourth of our series, of course, leading up uh, to Indian Arrival Day, which will be observed, of course, on May the 30th, a national holiday. Uh, Dr. Bimo, thanks very much once again uh, for joining us uh, this morning. And again, you can go, get all your information for the Caribbean Hindustani. Uh, the website is going to become in, in the not too distant future. Uh, but indeed, if anyone wants to contact you directly as far as you get some more guidance, how do they do that? I mean, you can look for me on Facebook, uh, Visham Bimal, but Caribbean Hindustani has a messaging feature. So you can message Caribbean Hindustani and others. So you can go to the Caribbean Hindustani on, on Facebook. Uh, to yeah, it's a Facebook page. It's a Facebook page page to get all that information. Thanks very much once again. Part two is over. Homework for so. I wonder if I'll survive uh, heading into uh, lesson number three, but we'll find out.